Howdy folks, and welcome back to Black Mountain. Day 6 of midwinter. Got just a little skiff of snow on the ground. A few inches, nothing major. And we're going to try to get some trees down today. I got word from the sawmill that they're wanting some more of those 12 meter logs. And I've got a whole bunch of them sitting right there. I've already got the, uh, the wagon up, the log wagon up there. The New Holland is purred away. We're going to see if we can get this beast started. I have built uh, another shed up here on the horse hill. In case that wasn't immediately obvious. <laughs> Making a few improvements here and there. Come on. I know it's cold. We'll let the glow plugs warm up a little more. Alright, everybody got their fingers crossed? Here we go. There we go. Awesome. Alright, we'll get her warmed up. Let's let her uh, idle. I'm going to head back up the hill here. So it's been a busy winter. We didn't get much snow, but I got some I got some work done. We got this nice building up here. All the equipment shuffled around. So pretty much everything is under shelter now. Which will be nice for uh big winters like we had last time. I don't know if we're gonna get another big winter. But let's crawl up here. I do have a couple down trees. I got one limbed and cut in half. I got another, at least one more up there on the top of the hill. Let's go sort that one out. Let's see if the uh, New Holland wants to climb the hill here. It does pretty well in the snow, as long as it doesn't get too deep. That'll do. Let's get that silly drawbar that moves. <laughs> Alrighty, let's get this guy cut out of the ground. Of course, you would never want to do this with a real chainsaw. Cut into dirt, but it's farm sim. out here. Yeah, 12-ish. Something like that. And yeah, we can get another 12 out of her. Come on, limbs. Let's try this the other way. I think it's getting a little confused. There we go. Now we know who's boss. Beautiful. So there's another good two logs. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these little shorties. Maybe we can make a pile somewhere and throw them up top once we have a load. So, quite a few trees up here on the hill. We'll leave that uh, live one there. I don't know if we'll get all these dead ones cut. We'll get some of them to cut, though. It's all the trees that are down, down. So, I'll probably start up here on the hill. I get these two drug down and then we'll see if we can get the tree harvester up the hill. Whoa! Yeah, she gets a little a little bit skatey on the snow sometimes. Throw a chain on you. Chain on you.
We'll kind of skid slash drive down the hill. There we go. Perfect. Drop those right there. That'll do nicely. Shoot, that's that's not gonna work, is it? It's gonna be hooked onto that. We'll cheat a little bit. There we go. you go off down the hill on me. Sometimes you gotta give them a talking to. That might be a little steep actually. Come on. There you go. Find a little bite. You want to slip a little bit. Almost like there's snow on the ground. There we go. Alright. I have I have a plan here. I know it looks like I'm just screwing around, but I do have a plan. Plan does not include that log. I'm wanting to keep going down the hill though. thought was I would use this I'll just use the New Holland for a backstop so I can get the loader pushed up on them and grab those logs so we're gonna be a while debating should I leave this yeah let's just leave that idling there don't want to shock cool it Cheeto and Midnight are pretty frisky here in the snow been riding them a little bit They're doing well. Just uh, did chores this morning, so all the animals are good. Let's hop in this one. It's a nice building, and these prefab metal buildings are are pretty cheap and they go up quick too. They able to get a crew out here and get this thing up in a day. Once they had the post set, just came back the next day and threw it all up in a day. All right, now this doesn't have nearly the traction that the New Holland does. We'll see if we can get up this slope here a bit. Getting up the big slope is going to be the trick. I don't know if that's going to work or not. We're just going to have to go for it and see what happens. Let's try just hitting her head on and going for it. Do you want to go up the hill? Well, so far so good. If the top here, all right, we made it.
Well, that was easier than I thought it was going to be. He says as he runs it into the tree. This thing doesn't always want to snap onto the tree. Kind of give it a little, little nudge. Ooh, almost pulled me. And you know, I forgot to check and see. I was still set to the right cut length. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Yeah, it looks like she's still set for 12. That's good. Beautiful. Oh, I didn't realize I still had a little piece in there. I'll plop that there by the stump. It's not what I wanted. We do have a grip on it, though. Alright, everything's under control. Nobody panic. Slider right over there as we cut. Oops. Slammed into that tree, didn't I? Now, the trick here is to not slide into the tree. Good. That's actually what I wanted to have happen. Throw that up there. <laughs> Get those logs to drift downhill, maybe. Let's grab this one since it's right here. Right here all handy like. Yeah, come on. Those would want to roll downhill, but they're not just overly enthusiastic about it. Hopefully we can find those little pieces again. That's almost a load. Let's let's go ahead and get this guy off of here. Slip and slide just a bit. <laughs> yeah, man. Get on there. There you go. Grab that tree. 
Back up the hill we go. Not smacking our Massey. There we go. Beautiful. Yeah, I guess we'll winch these down the mountain. They don't seem to want to roll. All right, well, I think that's probably about a load. Well, I guess I'm parked right in the way on there. Let's get this out of the way. It's actually getting around better in the snow than I thought it might. Of course, it's, it's not very deep snow yet. Eh, we'll keep a run in and we might want to use it some more. I do need to, I need to jog down. I need to get the John Deere. I need to get the uh, front loader arms put on grab the log fork so I'm gonna go do all that grab a quick bite of lunch and I'll be back in just a bit well that took a little longer than I wanted to but I did get a good and warm lunch some of the hose fittings had froze up on this front loader so I had to get that all thawed out I thought I had it stored under roof good but I guess some water leaked in there and you know what I forgot to do? I got so busy thawing out the fittings, I forgot to grab the log forks. It's just been one of those days. Alright, well, we'll go back down and get the log forks. I got this access road here. Makes things a little faster. I don't have to go all the way around. It's still a little rough, and it's a little slick. Well, this tractor looks good. I almost uh, kind of hate to put these arms on. I need to get the arms and the weight painted, too. Should have taken the whole package down while I was doing it, but I just didn't uh, think that through. That would have been the smirk thing to do. There we go. Now we can lift some logs. We're doing a little bit of snow clearing, but not everything yet. There's a little more snow in the forecast uh, tomorrow, I believe. So we may eventually get some snow again up here on the mountain. For now, though, it's just a little dusting. Nothing we can't handle. Come on, spin them tires. Wonder it's probably worth moving that wagon. It's gonna be a little bit of an awkward load here. burning the diesel today. Got three machines going. Just really working one at a time. I gotta think backwards. I want, yeah, I want to go I want to go that way. Tractor says nope. Give her a little nudge with the front loader arms. So you want to turn it that way. Yeah, something like that. See if that does the trick. She's a windy up here today. It's a little close, isn't it? Yeah, we'll make it work. Let's get a log on.
It'll actually work better to have the wagon right here, wouldn't it? Yes, it would, Kerbo. That would work much better. All right, thanks, Kerbo. You can always just kind of do some slight positioning adjustments. This trailer is real light when it's empty, so it'll just skid around. You know what I forgot to do? Among many things, what kind of slipshot operation am I running here? I forgot to stretch out the trailer. <laughs> Alright. Log. You stay right there. This has turned into a, a long episode of not getting anything done. That's just the way she goes sometimes, though. Tell you what, let's loop around here. And I forget what. Yeah, there we go. Let's get that stretched all the way out. Beautiful. Try not to tip the tractor over. Drive through some bushes. Perfect. Get it exactly opposite where you need it. Get stuck. All right, perfection. We're going to call that good. not really good. I do have a plan, though. That is, if Farm Sim has the right collisions, I have a plan. I'm just going to drag this backwards. Yeah. Backwards. Backwards, you say? Well, I guess I would like to, to go backwards. Thank you. <laughs> we have to have more weight on the back for that to work. All right, fine. You win, trailer. You win. You ever have one of those episodes that you're just kind of sitting here recording it and you're just you're just eyeing the recycle bin? Like, hmm, YouTube or recycle bin? Hmm. Oh uh, well, not every episode can be perfect, right? Sometimes you got to show the warts. All right, half an hour in, I think we're going to have a log on the trailer if it doesn't roll down the hill first. And rolling down the hill is looking like a pretty good possibility right now. So today's episode is going to be called How Not to Log. Actually, I don't know if the tractor can, can back up this hill hooked onto that. Maybe with a little nudge Rooney. All right, let's strap that to the wreckage. Out. 
These little short couple trailers are a lot of fun. Beautiful. I say we throw caution to the wind and try to put two logs on the trailer. Just as soon as I get unstuck. Perfect. It's overbalanced on the right side. Barely got it strapped to the forks. Call that a win. Oh yeah, you saw me threatening to come over there and fix you and you fell right in, right in the spot. Show these logs who's boss. Yeah, man. Get in there. No, not both of you. Okay, fine. Both of you. Now calm down. I didn't want both of you. You both came. So I got all frisky. Ta da! Perfect. Nothing quite so satisfying as a nicely stacked load of logs. Beautiful! Oh man, let's uh, I'll tell you what, let's get the new Holland hooked on there. That's a whole better proposition. Let's get that trailer jockeyed into a little better position. And we'll use a tractor that actually has a chance in hell of moving the thing. tree is just right in the way. It doesn't help me that I'm getting all discombobulated on the controls here. Alright, this way! Yeah, bounce off the tree. Don't look back there, it's ugly. Oh boy. Well, if this video ever sees the light of day, I hope you're all are having as much fun as I am. <laughs> oh, All right, we're just going to brute force this. It's kind of my style. Give it just a little bit of a nudge. A little love tap. Beautiful. Rubbing is racing. Ta-da! Look at that. Alright, now the trailer is on somewhat somewhat level ground. Let's drop that. I'm going to shove these into some semblance of straightness. Uh, the straps are bugs. We're going to hook up yeah, we'll just leave the straps off for now. And we'll hit the wrong button. If you're still watching, that's that's just no surprise at all that I hit the wrong button. Alright. Now we need logs down at the bottom of the hill. 
Or do we? Maybe we can go up the hill and get them. Okay, you set there. Sprint over here. We gotta sprint to keep warm. It's it's cold out here. It's, it's only 22 degrees. I suppose it would probably behoove me to go get the other two logs over there. Can I even reach them though? That's the question. I mean, if we're gonna go stupid, let's go full stupid. I almost reached it. Can I pull them down? I'd have to issue a formal written apology after this episode. Can't quit now. I'm committed. Or I should be committed. One, one of those two. Alright, we have a log. It's okay. We can, we can rotate around that tree. And we can get just between those. It fits. Life is good have a log in our grasp. Just need to ever so gently raise it up and over. Perfect. Look at that. Look at that. Hit the wrong button again. Believe it or not, I harvested 800 plus trees off of uh, abandoned forest on Farm Sim 17. So I have done this before. Uh, we're just we're getting a little crazy with uh, the slippy snow. Having a little bit of fun. It's what it's all about. Who loads in the snow with a two-wheel drive tractor? This guy. There we go. Got the strap a on, so we got no weird physics going on. Upsy daisy. Swing her around. Curb plop. We gotta straighten that mess out. Reach that? The guard? Of course we can. Beautiful. Oh here. Let's just let's just hook that up for safekeeping. I want to turn that off, lower that down a bit. Might actually get a full load of logs here. Keep keep stumbling around in the dark. It's going to be a longer episode. We'll just we'll leave all this crap in here. Why not? You guys can see how the sausage is made. Whoa! No, no, no. Only one giant log, please. Got to do a little bit of ballet here, and we got this all sorted. Perfect. I think they were going to be offering premium prices. Let's check. How are we doing on... Yeah, we got some... Got some premium going on down there at the Sawmill, so I need to get this loaded up. Try to get a load of logs down there this evening. It's already... Uh, eh, it's 3.30. We, we got time.
Got a little bit of a tight landing area here. Makes things interesting. You just don't let off the gas to the last minute. You got it made. Look at that. Surgical precision. Don't think we can make her. Don't think we can make it. Damn it. Up the hill. Up the hill. Four man's four wheel drive. Got this. Oh, yeah. We'll just hook a strap on these and drag them down. Bouncing off all these stumps. Brakes. Oh, these are brakes. I pick both those up. It's kind of a big log and a medium log. Oh yeah, John Deere says I'm I'm up for it. Test out those hose seals. Beautiful get maybe one or two more logs up top and I think that's what we have at the top of the hill let's see if we can make it to the top of the hill again no problem for the mighty 7810 I quit hitting the wrong button. It's getting kind of embarrassing. Alright, let's get these down off the mountain and we'll straighten them up. Woo! Tractor sledding! You just kind of use your front end to the load on your front end as a break. Then we'll just toss these right over there. Perfect. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the new Holland to get these down to the road. And I can use the John Deere to actually take them to town. This is pretty steep right in here. Perfect. All right, John Deere, you wait for me right there. I'm going to take a sprint back over here.
crunch crunch through the snow. Look at that load of logs. That is a beautiful load of logs, tell you what. Select you. Got the straps on. Need to get back over to that. I'm going to raise you up. Just going to ease off down the hill here. This is fine. This is fine. No problem. Oh, crap. Problem. <laughs> well, there's one hitch broke. Well, this might be an even longer episode than I originally thought. I'm gonna try just to tip that back over with the winch. I don't know if it'll work, but it's worth a shot. Probably just gonna scoot the tractor. Wow, looky there. All right, this is going great. John Deere, I'm going to need you a little sooner than I anticipated. I knew that load was going to be top heavy. I didn't expect it to go quite that fast. Try to get this. Trying to get that tongue of trailer bent around. Alright, what, what happens if we uh, ease off on this? No, nope, so far so good. I got a tree right in the way. pushing me down the hill. Beautiful. Alright, through the little gap here. Da -da -da. Perfect. No problem. Holy crap. Alright, I don't want to leave these things all set in your island. Burn up fuel while I head to town. <sighs> I'm going to turn you off. Sprint up the hill again. Getting my cardio in today. Shut you off. I'm going to head to town. Sell some logs. And then tomorrow I'm going to do it all over again. Only I'm not going to screw up so much. I, th I think that's probably what I ought to try to do. Do it again tomorrow, but do it uh, a little more correctly. 
let's see. Not likely to run into any traffic, but let's get our hazards on because we are definitely a hazard to all known forms of navigation. <laughs> so look out. Here I come. I'm going to take her pretty slow down the hill because this is a pretty good sized load. Not only is it tippy, but it's going to want to um, push me. So it's 423. I'll see you at the sawmill. Maybe. Well, made it down the mountain with no mishaps. Now we're on to where the county plows. Pretty much got it made now. It's a pretty good sized load, so hopefully we'll get some decent cash out of it. Reckon we probably got another th three loads if I cleared off all those trees up top. I don't know if we'll clear them all this time around. Alright, we got nobody coming. That's good. It's dark awfully early these days in the wintertime. Look at that. It didn't even knock over their sign. Call that a win. What's not a win is not muting your cell phone when you're trying to record a YouTube video. So when you get those nice spam calls. Let's take the straps off. There we go. Let's ignore that stuff floating over there. <laughs> Nothing to see here. All right. $21,870. I'll take it. So if we can get about 20 grand per load, that's, that's a decent chunk of change we got setting up there. And that's something we could spend on getting the cows a little nicer place run a few more cows possibly we'll see we'll see what next year holds but that's it for this one i'm gonna head back up to the farm and i will catch you all next time thanks for hanging out take care